Hey, we're here with the delicious dashing dish segment with Katie Farrell. She is our resident expert on not only how to eat well, eat delicious food, and eat healthy. And I am so excited to make this fabulous dish for you. Tell us about it, Katie, and welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Today we're gonna make Italian stuffed peppers. Oh, that sounds good. They're really quick and mm -hmm. easy. If you're looking for a one dish meal that's ready in 30 minutes or less, this is the dish for you. So that's busy weeknight awesome. meal, few ingredients, this is perfect. This is, because sometimes when I get home, I don't really want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. That's right. So this is a great way, and I love an easy cleanup. There you go. So mm -hmm. to make it even easier, here we have the way to start is just to line your baking pan with foil. Okay. And spray it with some cooking spray. That way you just take it right off the pan, throw it away, and you have a clean pan. Hey, I am Less liking this. to clean, that is a bonus for awesome. sure. Awesome, that is great. So That's a great idea. Just go ahead and preheat your oven. So we okay. have that going 425. All right. And then we're gonna mm -hmm. make the filling for the okay. peppers. And so the filling just starts with some ground um, lean beef or turkey, so okay. whatever you like. All right, that sounds and good. And so here we have it already cooked, the okay. magic of television, Yay. right? <laughs> and then we're gonna add some sauce, so you could okay. do marinara sauce, spaghetti sauce, whatever you okay. prefer. All of it in? And that's just the whole jar, so okay. two cups. Tomato, is it tomato sauce, yes. right? Okay. any type of tomato sauce that you like. What about, some people like crushed tomatoes and stuff like that. What you do you think do about that. that? And you know what, I tried to make it as simple as possible, so just a whole jar of spaghetti sauce okay. is the easy way to go, but you right. could do two cans, like one crushed, one um, smooth tomato okay. sauce into the filling, whatever you prefer. So just okay. two cups of oh, any kind of tomato sauce. I like it. And then we have some frozen spinach that we dethawed. Okay, all right. Can I just dump you this in You can add that in there. I love this. Look, quick and easy and the dump method. I love there that. There you go. Awesome, I love it, love it, love it. So we're adding that to the pan. And then, okay. so as this kind of cooks and warms through, All right. we'll also add some seasonings. Okay. And so we have over here some garlic powder, some Italian seasoning, okay. salt, and pepper. So well, how much would I, how much do I need of each? For the Italian seasoning and garlic, okay. we're gonna have you do one teaspoon of each of those. All right. For the salt and pepper, a half a teaspoon. Okay. And why the difference? Is it because salt and pepper is a little bit more potent? Or? It is. And okay. we're also adding Parmesan cheese to this, so we don't want it to be too salty. Oh, Because all that right. is really a salty cheese. Oh, is that really? It is. And okay. so it has a lot of flavor, not okay. a whole lot of calories. And so well, that's why I like to use it in my recipes as well. And the great thing about this recipe, too, is that there's spinach. And honestly, your kids won't even notice. If you're having a hard time getting them to eat their vegetables, they will love these so much. And it's in the pretty little pepper, you can't even see the spinach. Well, I like the idea of red pepper because it's a little bit sweeter, right? Right, mm -hmm. and I think traditionally, stuffed peppers, we, we think of green peppers, yes. which really aren't as sweet. And so the red pepper adds that sweetness and mm -hmm. it goes good with all of these Italian um, seasonings and spices. Okay. Are you so, writing this And too? then we're going to add the Parmesan cheese. So that's okay. a half cup. And you can I'll just dump it in. right in. Okay, that's great. Well, I have to say, not only for little children, but how about big kids? Sometimes my family and I have pretty much young adults. They're not all fans of uh, vegetables. Right. And this is a great way to introduce something that it covers all your four basic food groups, doesn't it's it? It's true. And that's why I love it. It's a one-dish meal. Everything's wrapped up into these peppers. You okay. have the protein, mm -hmm. the complex carbohydrates, and even a little bit of healthy fat. So yes. okay. how I actually stuff the peppers is traditionally you could do just the top off and stuff them like that. Right. But I like to do them kind of in half. So it feels like you have a bigger portion. I yes. mean, you have two peppers rather than one, right? It, it look, and it looks pretty. Right, You it know, does. I like the presentation. That's a lot of uh, cooking, too, is a presentation, right? That's true. So mm -hmm. it's tricking your brain and then also <laughs> a beautiful presentation. Yes. So uh -huh. how, a really quick and easy way that I like to kind of get the top off the pepper is okay. to just simply take a knife. Mm -hmm. And this knife's a little bit big. You can use a little paring knife. It'd be a little easier. Okay. Just around the top like that. Okay. And then you just pull it out. 
Mm. And you can see you got all the seeds right there. Oh, that is so smart. You don't have to go back through and right. try to pull the seeds out. And then out. you just cut it in half again. <gasps> and yeah. there you go. They look beautiful. And so this mm -hmm. filling we have over here. Okay. And so I'll just have you go ahead and just put some of the filling in. Okay. Is there a certain amount? Like, I, I'm a kind of a person that's a recipe follower. So if I was doing this, how much would you think I need to put in? Well, you get with this recipe six pepper halves. Okay. So you would just want to measure it to probably about a fourth cup in each. Okay. So would that be just enough or I need to do a little that more? That looks perfect. Okay, good. All right. And then we can put these on the pan. Oh, okay. And when those are done and you're done filling those, then you just sprinkle some of this additional Parmesan cheese over okay. the top. All right. And then once you do all that... Is there, oh look, I think I might just, what about the leftovers? Can we just eat this inside? You definitely could. <laughs> now don't go putting it on some garlic bread or else you're defeating the whole purpose of I'm it being right. healthy. I probably would no, be. No, but okay. this is um, pretty much finished. We're oh, just gonna oh, add yes. the Parmesan cheese that. on the top. Oh, and there you go, look good. at how yummy yes. that looks. It's almost oh, yeah. like you would just want to eat that just as it is, right? You probably wouldn't have to cook it too long. Just uh, 425, just about 15 to 20 minutes, just to soften the pepper. Okay. So really, it's just about getting that pepper tender. Okay. So not even cooking, you know, the filling through right, because we already did that. Absolutely. Now, if we wanted to get this recipe out to our family, how do we find out? Is it, it we'll have it online, right? Will you have your re recipe for us online? Yes, um, you can get it at Cornerstone on the website or you can get it at dashingdish.com. Yay, it's a delicious dish, quick and easy. That's right. I love it. See how quick that was? About 15, 20 minutes. And then would you like to try the finished product I we would. have over here? I would. Would you like to try too? Oh, sure. Okay. Do you want your own or should we split it in half? I think we can split it. Okay. All right. That sounds good. It looks great. I love that. And look how pretty it is. And you know, even if you don't like the traditional stuffed pepper, uh -huh. you could do these in all kinds of vegetables. You could do the same filling. You could just do it in, say, a zucchini boat. So you cut a zucchini in half, scrape oh out the middle. God. And then stuff it into a zucchini boat. That is good idea, and I love this. This is delicious. Oh, no wonder you're called delicious dashing dish. <laughs> Three Ds. Thank you so much. Thank you for Great having food. me. Oh, I'm so glad this you're was here. Fun. It is always fun. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for having me.